What is the role of ongoing education and career growth? Uh, and what's the parallel to that for your career maintenance perspective? Um, Oren uh, also has a, a number of certifications and uh, different levels of, of uh, education and, and formal education as well. And this is an interesting perception uh, for formal education. On, on, on my side, I learn best by hands on and doing and then spending the time to figure it out. And that's how I have to learn. My wife is a very visual learner. She has to see it laid out in architectures and how that all works for her. Um, Oren potentially is much more about the wealth of volume of reference information, how to be able to interpret and decode that. But I'll let you talk about specifically where you think education comes into play with regards to our ongoing career maintenance. Well, there's some jobs that absolutely require, once you reach a certain stage of your career, you to have a postgraduate degree to progress any further. So that's sort of relevant and sort of not. Because one of the questions that is very important, or one of the issues that is very important, is that you need to continually refine your ability to learn not only your willingness to pick up new technologies. So we sit there and we go, well, and we talked about it in the last myth, assess new technologies. But one of the things that you should be working on throughout your career is looking at how do I learn, I, because it's going to be very individual, and how do I become a better learner? And one of the things that I learned through doing my postgraduate degrees was that actually taught me how to scope out a project, how to work on a very large project by myself, and how to put together all of the information that I needed. So I started out writing short articles for Windows NT magazine, and then I did do my postgraduate work, and I went from 5,000 word essays to 30,000 word essays, to eventually being able to write 250,000 word books. But I learned how to learn. And in my day job, I need to be able to synthesize information very quickly and then recapitulate it, represent it, and share it. So when you're thinking about ongoing education, it can be one method of forcing you to improve how you learn, because you need to work on your skills as a learner not just the skills you are learning as a learner. And so treat learning as a skill that you maintain as much as you maintain your knowledge of how to work on a particular technology. So as I mentioned, the, the speed at which you learn and the skills that you acquire throughout your modality of growing through this particular uh, career path of being IT pros, um, it potentially can change. Uh, based on how you go through and, and adapt to it. You're talking about the progression of the amount of content that you write. And again, please don't compare yourself to Oren and think you all have to become authors and things like that because he is rather <laughs> crazy when it comes to the amount of content that this man creates and actually writes. Uh, but that's what he's been in growing up with. For me, it's around uh, how can I quickly learn something to get the nuts and bolts understanding? How can I then go to get some more depth in that particular area and apply it and synthesize it to my business environment I'm working in and then make the evaluation? Does it make sense? OK, I'll just take this amount and put it in my toolkit and leave it there and then I can grow it more later if I actually need to. I will caveat this by saying, and you've probably reached this yourself, I've also realized there's only a finite amount of time every day to be able to do everything, right? I'm no longer able or to function as I used to function on multiple, I don't even know what it, back then, that I used to drink the stuff called Jolt Cola. And you remember that crap that was out there? So I used to have a number of those to keep me going throughout the day and in the early evening to get stuff done. Now I'm tired. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm tired at night. My kids wear me out and that sort of stuff. So, okay, everybody here in the room is at Tech Mentor. You've gone to a conference, you're being exposed to new things. Now, a question for yourself is, what am I going to do to embed the information that I've picked up at this conference? Rick and I were talking the other day about how Rick learns through hands-on. And I said, okay, here's a question for you, Rick. Do you learn more 
by doing a hands-on lab that someone else has written, or do you learn more by writing a hands-on lab for other people to do? And Rick went, I probably learn more by writing a hands-on lab by other people to do. Why? Because that's embedding the knowledge rather than just passively following the dots when he's going through a set of instructions. So that's something that you also should think about when it's not just turning up at a conference like Tech Mentor and watching entertaining speakers that gives you the knowledge. It's also thinking about how do you embed that knowledge so that you can actually use it at some point in the future. So I guess technically this wasn't a myth. This is more of an observation with regards to how important we all know we have to be lifelong learners in the world of IT. Uh, but uh, that, that analogy you just shared with going and having to teach someone else, I'm sure Sammy can relate and the other speakers that are here this week can relate as well. Having to get up in front of a group of people to share those ideas is very uh, it, it's exposing yourself to a lot of vulner. It, it's opening up a lot of vulnerability because it's exposing yourself to a lot of risk and you do a lot of work to make sure that you know what you're talking about. And also you respond potentially differently based on questions that you get asked to frame it uh, a different way. So that definitely comes into play as someone that does presentations and creates content for sure. Now, this next myth is one that Oren snuck in on me that uh, we decided to keep, which is, does getting older always lead to management? 